It seems like every day, something new is coming out that will probably kill us. One of the most terrifying was the thought that roasted coffee can cause cancer. Yikes! I mean, that doesn't stop Americans from drinking an average of two cups per day. In fact, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't drinking from a cup of coffee right now. Thankfully, we don't see a coffee ban anytime soon. After all, it would cause massive riots. However, there are some foods that we eat that are banned, not in the US, but in other places such as Europe. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew isn't the healthiest thing in the world, but it gets even worse when you add in brominated vegetable oil. This ingredient is flame retardant and has been used in American sodas for decades. In some, it can cause skin lesions, memory loss, and nerve problems. That's exactly why Europe and Japan have banned it from all food and beverages. Coca-Cola and PepsiCo have promised to remove it from all drinks as of 2014, but still have yet to deliver on this promise. Milk. While becoming less common in the United States, some dairy farms still practice the use of RBST in their milk. This is a hormone that causes increased milk production. However, it's been linked to a variety of health conditions, including high rates of mastitis in cows that contaminate the milk with pus and antibiotics. Thanks to the use of RBST, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, Japan, and the EU have banned milk and dairy products from the US. Boxed mac and cheese. Our beloved box of Kraft mac and cheese has food dye. While this brand has promised to go out natural, other brands still dye their food with yellow number five and number six. These food additives are banned in Austria, Norway, and some other European countries because it can cause hyperactivity, increased cancer risk, and allergic reactions. These dyes can be found in countless other items, including potato chips, jams, candy, drinks, pet food, shampoo, and even medications. Pre-packed ground beef. Pre-packaged ground beef may be easy, but it has pink slime. Pink slime is an additive that lowers the overall fat content during the process, your meat is exposed to ammonia gas or citric acid to kill bacteria. This isn't regulated and can cause significant issues in humans. It's banned in Canada and the European Union. The sale of American beef in general is also restricted in many other countries. This is due to the fact that our cows are treated with hormones to make them produce more milk. Additionally, the use of antibiotics is restricted in other countries. This makes beef a big no-no for most places. Coffee mate. Coffee Mate is supposedly a great addition to your coffee, but is it? This item is banned in many countries, including Switzerland, Hungary, Austria, Denmark, Norway, and Iceland. The reason is simple. Hydrogenated soybean and cottonseed oils. These ingredients have been linked to heart disease. While the United States also banned these ingredients in 2018, officials did nothing about the existing product out there, meaning there's still plenty of it floating around. U.S. Chicken. Chicken may be one of the healthier meats to eat in the United States, but U.S. chicken isn't so great according to the outside world. First of all, chicken is sometimes fed arsenic, which makes the meat appear pinker and fresher. Arsenic is a poison which can kill you if you ingest too much. Additionally, chlorine is sometimes used to wash the meat to kill any microorganisms on the bird, but it basically all comes down to profits. Chickens in the U.S. have less space than those in the EU. Frozen dinners. Azotic carbonamide can be found in a variety of things, including frozen dinners, breads, boxed pasta mixes, and packaged baked goods. It's used to bleach flour and foam plastic like yoga mats and the soles of sneakers. It doesn't sound too safe, and tests found that it can induce asthma. Anything containing azotic carbonamide is banned in Australia, the United Kingdom, and most European countries. Salmon. Salmon is all right in other countries as long as it isn't farm-raised. Salmon that have been farm-raised are fed chemicals to make them the bright pinkish red that we love so much. They're also given a ton of antibiotics and other drugs that aren't safe for humans. Finally, they're fed synthetic astaxanthin to make their flesh look more appealing, which can cause eyesight damage in humans. Farm-raised salmon is banned in Austria and New Zealand. Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops has a ton of artificial dyes in it, the same goes for fruity pebbles. A ton of stuff we eat actually has artificial dyes. Specifically, the dye in Fruit Loops can inhibit nerve cell development. That's why Norway, Finland, Austria, France, and the UK have banned it from their country. If you want your Fruit Loop craving, you may have to look elsewhere. Also as a note, fruity pebbles are also banned, so that's a no-go too. Artificial blueberry. Artificial blueberry may be convenient and pretty, but it's bad for you. The blue dye used to color it is derived from petroleum, which is also used to make gasoline, diesel fuel, 
asphalt, and tar. It's also been linked to nerve cell degeneration, brain cancer, and hyperactivity. It's also banned in Norway, Finland, Austria, France, and the UK. Thankfully, you'll be able to get real blueberry in these countries so the food may actually taste better. American M&Ms. So, you can find M&Ms overseas. But the thing is, every country has its own little formula. Our formula contains blue dye too. While the other M&Ms may be fine, the blue ones aren't so great. M&M has a history of adding dangerous dyes in its sweet. In 1976, the red ones were found to contain amaranth, a suspected carcinogen. After the public forgot, the red ones were reintroduced. American M&Ms are explicitly banned in Europe. Diabetic baked goods. So it's no surprise that artificial sweeteners could be bad for you. It's a hot topic in the United States, but the EU took a stand in 2018. The European Union banned many artificial sweeteners in baked goods, especially those targeted toward diabetics. Some of the sweeteners that cannot be used are acesulfame, K, aspartame, sucralose, saccharin, neotame, and more. The EU also decided that it would approach the issue again in 2020 to decide whether they should completely ban artificial sweeteners. Processed meats. We all know that processed meats aren't the best for us, but this isn't about the fat content. Many bacon brands, smoked meats, and processed meats are banned in the EU for one preservative, sodium nitrate. Sodium nitrate is a type of salt that keeps food from degrading while also giving it a distinct smoky flavor. However, it's been linked to certain types of cancer, so the EU went ahead and banned it. While bacon and smoked meats are available, don't bet on finding any with sodium nitrate, trans fats. This one is the most recent addition to the EU ban list. Trans fats are popular in many food products because it causes the item to have an extremely long shelf life as well as being cheap to produce. However, they can raise your bad cholesterol levels while also lowering your good cholesterol. Overall, trans fats can also increase your risk of stroke and developing heart disease. Many snack foods like crackers, cookies, and microwave popcorn are known to have trans fats. You can also find trans fats in frozen pizzas, fast food, and coffee creamer. The law will prohibit anything that has more than two grams of trans fats per 100 grams of food. And there you have it, folks, a tantalizing list of American foods that are banned in Europe for various reasons, ranging from health concerns to environmental impact. While these foods may be readily available and enjoyed in the United States, it's important to understand and respect the differing regulations and standards across the globe. Remember, food safety and consumer well-being are top priorities for governments worldwide. Europe's stricter regulations on additives, hormones, and genetically modified ingredients reflect their commitment to ensuring healthier, more sustainable food options for their citizens. It's fascinating to see how different countries approach food regulation and the lengths they go to protect their consumers. While it might be disappointing for some American food enthusiasts in Europe, it's crucial to appreciate and embrace the local culinary delights and regulations that make each region unique. As always, we encourage you to be mindful of the food choices you make and strive for a balanced, diverse diet. And if you find yourself abroad, don't forget to explore the local cuisine because trying new foods is a delightful adventure in itself. If you found it informative and entertaining, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more captivating food discussions. Let us know in the comments if you've tried any of these banned American foods or if there are any other interesting topics you'd like us to explore.